to the Laughing Frog Pottery School. Today I'm just going to do a short demonstration on how to make a twisted wire. Let's get rid of the frog. So what I'm using is a nylon fishing wire. Um, you can use different um, thicknesses depending, depending on how much you want. But what I want is a piece of wire that's roughly twice the length that I want the final object to be and a sharp knife I want. <laughs> Damn it. So this is only going to be a short one. And what I've got here is is two things that I can tie either end of this to. So I I'm not very good at tying nylon because I've never done fishing, but what I do is I believe is called a clove hitch. I slide that through those two loops and then just tie it off again, just so it doesn't come undone. That's one end. The other end here, I've just got a needle tool. What I want is just something that I can slide the finish, uh, the knot off when I've finished the um, form, the twisted wire. So again, tie that off. Okay, so let's tie it off both ends. This is going to make quite a short one. So then I want a ball of clay that I can stick onto the wheel head. Or a bit of clay, it doesn't have to be a ball. And I just stick this down onto there. So I've just got a single wire. Now I'm putting a twist into that single wire. Obviously on the kick wheel this is a bit slower than it would be on an electric wheel. You can test how much twist you've put into that by just folding it a little bit and seeing how it spins on itself. Because that's what we're going to do to twist it. So I'll just put a little bit more twist into that. Okay, that should be enough for, for this wire. So what I'm now going to do is hold that in the middle and bring both ends together in the clay and, and hold that there. Then I slide my finger up to just underneath the top and let it go and it'll twist on itself. Then I hold that, slide my hand down the end and then just let it spin between my fingers. Just tie a knot in the bottom. And release it from the clay. Slide that off. There's a lot of clay there. Slide that off. So then I've got it tied at that point there. I just want to tie it on something so I can use it. I normally use a washer. So just run that through. And I only, I normally only tie it on one end um, and leave the other end open um, so that I, I can, it makes it better for cutting off the hump. So a short one like this is what I'd use for, for throwing pots for cutting them off, off the hump.
And for a longer one, for a normal pot, so I have a slightly longer one, which I then, I can just wrap around my hand. But there's no reason why you can't put a washer or something on both ends. So that gives you a, a, a cut off wire. And the uh, one of the nice things about these that, that I like is that the, as you cut it off, the, the cut off wire leaves a, a little pattern 